first question you may be asking is why. Why, Dave? I don't know. But at least it's not Echo the Dolphin. Yes, uh, if you want Echo the Dolphin, go to the Patreon page. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this is obviously Dave Tries. Yeah, this is Dave Tries. I know we've taken about three weeks off, uh, but... Uh, because Dave got tired of being murdered so many times. Yeah, in well, for one, age. I kind of forgot, honestly. That's... How do you forget all the triggering, traumatizing things you've been through? Traumatizing? Anyway, this is this is Rise of the Triad. I've played a little bit of it just to get acquainted with it, and so far, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so far, what? Because, yeah, anyway. Rise of the Triad, it makes you ask, why? Yeah, I'll just pick this person. As the difficulty seem to change. Um, dig my own grave. I'll dig my grave now. I think with the stove on, I have a freight train of death. They call me the cleaner. No, don't play on that. Yeah, no, it, I, It's right there, Dave. It's well, yeah, I know. I, I, I've said okay. that before. Uh, so yeah, you gotta play on medium. Let's do this. And uh, you can see this this sexy intro. Ha! Hey, hey! Back in the day, Dave, this was revolutionary magic, dark magic, but magic nonetheless. Okay, now there's a couple reasons I don't like this. One, the environments look terrible to me. Um, Dave, the environments just don't make sense. Nothing in this game makes sense. It's not made to make sense. And getting the mouse to work right with this was a pain in the day. It took me five seconds to show him after he couldn't figure it out. That's some BS! Okay, so if I understand this correctly, uh, you can get God Mode in this game by collecting enough of these weird spinny things. No. No, you get an extra life, I think. No, God Mode is a little pickup you can get. I thought you still got God Mode, though, after... Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I picked up... Quite a few of them in level one, never got anything. Then again, I haven't played this game except for level one. Oh, I died already. Death one. <laughs> and yes, yeah, oh, so you get this. You get the death animation. You get this, this stupid death animation. Um, so that was a glorious first life. Uh, yeah, I haven't played this game since I was like maybe seven. Wait, no. When did it come out? Twenty years. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah. It's been a while since I've played this, and I played the first level recently just to get it going, and I haven't played it since then because I've been busy. So I really need to do a Let's Play of this, because no, this you game don't. is just weird. I think, honestly, doing a Let's Play of this is a waste of time. Dave, you're a waste of time. We still let you do things. This just seems like such a waste it of time. It, it fits my personality perfectly, Dave. If I had to describe to you what I am, this is probably what I am. That's actually kind of true. I don't even know. Like, what oh! am I supposed to do with these things? You're why floating. They, why do these things work this way? Why are, why are there people who want to kill me? There's guns and god mode and that one power-up that makes it like you're on shrooms. It's just weird. Rise of the Triad was not made with making sense in mind. I mean, look at this room. Look at this room. This room is not where you want to be. No one wants to go in here. And yet there are people stationed here, guarding the power Oh, come on! I hate edit. Oh, God, I hate editing. Because now I remember. Yeah, try not to die, Dave, and you won't have to edit in all those dings. It's not the dings, it's just... Well, actually, it is the dings. <laughs> it's the dings. <laughs> well, you have one life left. Shoot him, shoot him. Yeah. When they beg not to be shot, they're just trying to play dead so they can sneak up behind you and kill you. Shoot. And yes, there are push walls, there are all kinds of things. Uh, the porridge is, you eat monk porridge for health, god mode, makes you make weird sounds and fire death orbs out of your hands that one shot anything. You're picking up these Egyptian crucifixes for, I don't know why, <laughs> points. It's coinage. It's a weird game. Yeah, and... Yeah. And, and you know what? That's probably why I like it. I ha I like weird. Don't get me wrong. But this is too weird. This is a different kind of weird, Dave. This is the kind of weird that brings me back to memories of my childhood. Don't go that way yet. Ooh, heat Seeker. Heat Seekers can be tricked by flames, though. Go the other way. Yeah, go that way first. I'm only gonna spoil one thing because it's all I can spoil, Dag, got it? There's a god mode orb at the very end of it. Not an orb, but a god mode power up at the very end of this. You're gonna die, aren't you? 
Oh god, this thing is shooting really fast. Really, I can run past it. Come on, Dave. I thought you were fast. You're a little tiny Asian woman. You should be even faster. Wait, what the hell did that do? You turned off the flamethrower. Those shooting flames at you. You're gonna have to jump over those. Those jumping discs. Yeah, there is no jumping in this game. The game does the jumping for you. Which is also something amusing to me. Don't get crushed by the walls. Oh, there's the god orb. Yeah! You notice that you're actually taller now. Now just keep going. Just just kill them. How do you miss with this thing? See? See how nice that is? This is weird. Yep. <laughs> Dave, you just described the entire game. Don't explore too much. Just run around trying to find enemies to kill because this has a limit. So don't go up there. Don't worry about that. Fine. Waste your time. I don't care. Not like you can do anything up here anyway. You just turn that back on, but okay. Yeah, that other door I told you not to go through before, that's where you want to go. Keep going. There's enemies in, in the next area. You, you want to go as fast as you can. We have God Mode to kill as many enemies as you can. Because once it wears off, it's completely worthless. Obviously. And a world. You are no longer a god, Dave. The heart of Lorcan has betrayed you. No. See, if someone wants to make a weird, even weirder mod for this, change the uh, god mode power up to the heart of Lorcan with Keening Sunder and Wraith Guard kind of touching it. Just to throw that in there for giggles, I guess. For giggles. I mean, you can make it uh, while you have it instead of making that weird yawning noise. He uh, <laughs> says, "Take off their quotes." What else? Are these supposed to be Nazis or what? <laughs> they get the R van. You act like I know. Hey, Dave, you, I, I bought this game for you. I know. I vaguely remember most of this. I just remember how much fun it was to play. It doesn't make any sense. Who knows if they're Nazis? They could be. Does that matter? Wait, can you shoot through those coins and break them? What? The coin that you shot earlier broke. Oh. Find another coin. See if, it, see if that's... I'm just crazier than I thought it was. Push wall activated. Shoot it. <gasps> you what? can! I have learned something even newer today. That was it. That, that's all that was for. Points, damn points. This whole game is based on points. Points! It's. Odd. Like where you are in the world, no one knows. There's, I know there's a story, quote unquote, to this, and um, it explains, quote unquote, things. Explains. Ah, quote yeah. unquote. But I don't really know. I wouldn't care. I, I don't play this game for knowledge. I play the game because it's this game. It's weird. There is an enemy that can take your weapons and armor away. If you get too close to him. Yeah, so far I was gonna say there's not really a whole lot of enemy types. Um, well, you're in level one, Dave. The way they, they talk is just one of the stupidest things I've heard in a while. <laughs> Outsider! <laughs> Outsider! Die! Please don't shoot! Whatever they say. Some porridge over here? Yep, that's some porridge. You have to go find some more porridge. I know I'm not, like, picking up all these token things, but I honestly don't care. I stopped trying to grab the ones up there because getting up there is not easy. Is that a machine gun that got back there? It is. Boom! You have infinite ammo with this, too. What? Yeah. <laughs> Most bullet weapons are like that, Dave. Not in, well... In this game. In this game. I really need to clarify that. That, that's the best part of the game so far. Is. It is. That in God Mode? If you had a whole level of these bounce pads in God Modes, it would be hilarious. Oh, you missed it. Shoot the... Destructible and fire... Well, not really, but, you know. Yeah. Breakable urns! Breakable tokens! <laughs> Breakable thing! Ammo. Oh, that, okay, that's the first level. Secret Wall 7. There's a lot of secret walls in that level, Dave. All secret levels I didn't care about. All these secrets that I could care less about. Because half of them are just coins. 
Yeah, so, so far, this game is, uh... That was, that's not a gun, mode. No, that's a uh, speed boost, I think. Yeah, what the See, hell? See, that or fly. Oh, it's fly. How do I... Look up and down to fly. Lies. I think it's the up and down uh, keys that you have mounted. No, the ones that make you look up and down normally in the vanilla game. Oh. Like home and... I think it's home and end. Try them. One, one sec. Nope. Nope. Uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> well, there goes that power up. Figure that one out later. I like how you that can see the power up timed like that. Die, 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 die. So, I see you had a very bad childhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it could have been worse. You could have been involved. Oh, this is true. I think that's an extra life inside that room. I think. I, I don't know how to get to it. Need that. You don't just save often, Dave. Vardenfell's a dangerous place. I like that you can destroy stuff like that. It's just so nice. You have to probably go up and above. Probably, yeah. Let's grab some porridge. Some monk porridge! Monk meal. The porridge is the red one, the meal is the white one. Monk meal? Monk meal. I guess you're some kind of monk. I don't know. Are these guys monks? They don't act like monks. Monks usually have staffs and they usually beat the living crap out of you and take your wallet. Oh, okay. And yes, they will walk into those at times. It is incredibly hilarious. And it's just as absurd and bizarre as the rest of the game. Guess what happens when you touch those, Dave? Do I die? I'm assuming that's what he did. <laughs> Guessing that's what he did! Yes, Dave, you die. Like, who comes up with these spinning death pillars and puts them in a world like this? And then these fire cannons... All sorts of things. It's I weird. feel like whoever made this game was super high. Like, he had to be. Or at least again, be... there was a, sh uh, a power up that makes it so like you're on shrooms. So probably, given the time period when this was made and what game developers were like back then, most likely he was excessively high. Him and everybody who worked on it with him. Wait, um, but their addictions to hallucinogenics or methamphetamine. Well. I think that it's not that good, Dave. You would know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, but see, whatever hallucinogens they were on had to be really good. You don't have to let go of the button, you just hold it down. Uh-huh. Well, the whole game with this thing turned on. Did one of those just fall down? That was weird. So, yeah, so far, um, if I had to give this a potato rating... Uh, you have to use a different rating system with a poor trading game. <laughs> no. How many bowls of porridge does it get? Um, how many bowls of porridge does it get? I'll give it something near the end. Although I seriously doubt it will ever improve. Um, <laughs> I'm not asking for it to improve. This isn't a game that I'm going to say is a great game and everyone should play. I still think people should play this because it's a weird game. But I'm not going to say, oh, you should love this game. Outsider! The way they say that is just so bizarre. So, yeah, if y'all want to play this game, I, I'm i not necessarily recommending it, but if I you're in the mood wouldn't. for some weirdness <laughs> and some things you might not understand... Understand? Then um, play the game. Yeah, it's actually pretty cheap. You can buy it in Steam, although it's in... It's, no, it's in a throw backpack. There's a push wall right there. Uh, I thought it was. Yeah, oh, different colors should have been. Yeah, um, it's inside the Apogee Throwback Pack in, on Steam. You get four games. I think it's five bucks. Uh, let's uh, see here what games are in there. And uh, yeah, it's it's just weird. I mean, like, this explode. Sort of. Well, there's some interesting games on here again from my childhood that I remember. Let's see. Here. In fact, all of them on here I vaguely remember. Because there's obviously the Rise of the Triad, there is Blakestone, which is a really odd one that I need to replay. Uh, there's, what is it, Blakestone 2? 
Planet Strike. Let's see what else. Yeah, I, I could be doing a day of tries for all of the games in, in that uh, pack, because might as well. Okay, Aliens of Gold, Planet Strike are with the British Special Agent Blakestone and then taking on an ancient evil menace as the hunt in Rise of the Triad. So it's three games. Okay. It's ten dollars. Oh, it's ten dollars. Okay. Well, I, I spent like a dollar on it. But the one of the Steam sales, I get really cheap. Okay, it says four classic games, but Rise of the Triad and Extreme Rise of the Triad are basically the same game. What's the... And Blakestone Islands of Gold and Blakestone Planet Strike are basically the same game because you know, follow the same quote unquote story. So it's you know it's worth it, I'd say. Well, worth it to buy it on sale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost dead. Yeah. You don't even think it's worth buying on sale, do you? Like, if it's 90% off... Dave, I didn't buy it during the Steam Winter Sale. How's that sound? It was cheap, too. Like... I like Rise of the why, Triad. Why am I standing on those? Don't ask questions, Dave. That makes literally no sense. I, I really enjoy Rise of the Triad as a game of bizarre weirdness that I don't have to pay attention oh! to. Oh! That was stupid. You didn't save in a long time. It was my last life. That too. But, uh, yeah. I would spend maybe $3? I don't remember how much I spent for this. Honestly, I kind of regret it. Um, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I like it. It's just so weird. It uh, is. It's just like who thought of making this? I know certain people say it's like their favorite game of all time, or just not not all time, but it's like they really love the game. All I can say is, why? What do you find appealing about this? Again, like I said, what I find appealing is it's just weird. It doesn't make sense. It's not that difficult. <laughs> the enemies are weird. The power-ups make less sense than the game. Like, the god mode's entertaining and the jumping around's kind of funny, but... And I the enjoy it. The flame wall is fun. Flame wall? It's one of the rocket launchers. Because every time you pick up a rocket launcher, you drop your old one. Which is even greater. Um, I don't know why. I guess you can't carry that much on you. But the flame wall will incinerate everyone in front of you, and it turns them into these little charred black skeletons, and they make little bone noises. They fall down. Little bone noises. It's funny. Little bone noises. Yeah, like the xylophone noise they use for bones. I, you'd have to do it. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But I mean, I can see why you'd enjoy playing this game, especially if you are high. <laughs> Like, if you're going to do drugs, and here we here at Lingering Trees do not support people doing drugs because we are trees, and trees are drugs. You roll us up and smoke us, we don't like that. But uh, if you're going to do drugs, you should play Rise of the Triad while doing drugs. I, I, I agree. Uh, that, in fact, I would say that's the only way you should play it. <laughs> hey, again, we are not supporting people doing drugs and getting high, but on the off chance that a lot of our viewers are probably people who've made poor decisions in their lives and they probably do oh, drugs, yeah. then you should do drugs while playing this game. Uh, by the off chance you ever get a ton of oxycodone or something from your doctor, <laughs> for completely legitimate reasons, um... Again, we do not condone drug usage. But if you're going to play, play the game. I mean, you're already high, you're going to spend your money on something bad anyways. You may as well play this game while you're doing it. Never ever let someone high have your credit card number and an Amazon account. Um, you really... It, you, Dave is running it through a source port, which makes it marginally better than it was before. Ever so slightly more tolerable. <laughs> the controls of this game were never its key function. It, they were never a function. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, wow, yeah, the game. It's game-like. Yeah, this is like the only game Dave has played thus far that I'm not sitting here saying, this is a great game, Dave, you should really enjoy it, let's get into it more. I never expect Dave to play this game again after this. I, I'm not, I'm going to install, well, I have to I have to keep it installed until I try the other ones in the Apogee pack, but then I'm going to install it. Unless Dave, I... don't even bother, it's not that much hard time space, you don't need it. Pick that other one up. But technically, you're not running up your time on Steam on this either, because you're using it through a source port. 
Yeah. I'm running into his team. Really? Because I can sure? still play Morrowind right now, Dave. I'm pretty sure. No, I, I can still play Morrowind right now. On I... Steam. I have my own Morrowind, but I don't have Steam one, so I use his shared library for hours. I know. If I had a job, I would have bought you your own copy of Morrowind this Christmas. Who the hell is shooting me? Stall it. Get, what? It's shooting me! Get to the other side, Dave. Oh, jeez. I think he was shooting at the wall. He was using wall hacks. He was cheesing you, Dave. I love- I love to say the best part of the game so far is the way they say outsider. OUTSIDER! Like, I really want to play this whole game just to see more of what it's like and see how much I can actually remember. Because I do remember one level that looked, had similar textures to this one, slightly darker, where you have to save a hostage. I think. <laughs> you think? I'm not entirely sure what it was at this point. I was a kid, Dave, and I'm pretty sure the individual who got this game for us was a drug dealer. Where if they weren't, they should have been. So, you played this on PC as yeah. a kid, right? No, Dave, I played it on the Xbox 360. Well, I thought maybe it was like for one of your uh, older consoles. No, it was only on PC. Thank God. The games I played on console as a kid consisted of Mario. Behind you. Yeah, Mario and the other Atari games. E.T. I played E.T., Dave. I gotta see if that's somewhere on the internet. If there's, like, some form of a port to PC for that. So people can see just how awful it really is. Because That game was pretty awful. Compared... To E.T., this game should win Game of the Year. Who the only two games you could choose from, this game would win every single time. That E.T. game was just... a crime. And the people who made it should be punished. And I died again. Ah, oh, I, I mentioned to Dave earlier, in order to use cheat codes on this, you have to type in... I, I actually want to know whether they made a profit on this game. Yes! Yes, they did, because they made four games total, not all right to try it, but the company who made this, Apache... Made four games, and guess what, Dave? You've played some Apogee games recently. I have. Can't remember which ones it is, but Apogee still makes games, Dave. I think I want to end it here. I know it's about tw <laughs> ten minutes shorter than a normal one, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you. this is not a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Again, if you are into drugs and you have... $10 lying around that you were going to spend on weed this weekend, but decided you probably didn't need the extra weed. I used to know people like that. Although it used then, to be $100 a week. Yeah. <laughs> then buy this Apogee pack. Find a source port. There are plenty of them out there for Rise of the Triad. I don't know if there's any better ones. The ones I found seems to be the best. And it's called Winrot. Mm -hmm. And uh, play it. Yeah, and uh, any other recommendations you have for games you want us to try? Yeah, I, uh, Chris, by the way, I think you mentioned a while ago Marathon? Which was actually the game before that Bungie made, before Halo. And it was originally a Mac exclusive. I want you to try to tell Jim and Earl, Dave. I want to kill myself. No, I'm good. Actually, maybe I'll play that as a celebration of when the new Toe Jam and Earl game, uh, TV show comes out on Adult Swim. I forget about that. Uh, I can't believe that game was voted one of the most racist games of all time. It's... So, oh god, that. Uh, you should want to play it, Dave. No, that, that gif, I've seen that gif. Yeah. No, you do not put the. No! Anyway, um. Well, it's mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise? <laughs> it's mayonnaise. You don't put mayonnaise on that either. Um. They're already so confused with the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a gif from the official PC Mastery's Facebook page of someone putting mayonnaise down before they put the processor down. <laughs> anyway, um, next week, I think I want to try either another game. From the Apogee pack? Why? <laughs> or... Try Rise of the Triad Extreme, Dave. No, I, we're not trying that. Uh, <laughs> or um, Shadow Warrior, the original one. Let's try that one. Um, uh, by the way, Shadow Warrior, I found out by looking for source port for Shadow Warrior, you can use the same source port for Blood. One the source blood. port for Blood didn't work either. No, no, it's the Shadow Warrior source port will work for one, uh, one unit whole Blood. I meant to tell you about that. We'll have to see. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Give any recommendations down below, and we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video.